since since we are talking about the whole Niger thing, bruv, should we touch on it? Oh. Yo, your presidential election. Yeah, the whole politics thing. Yeah. Well, not, not even that. I mean, we're, we're coming in with, like, it's just the way people are bashing the celebrities that did not mm. voice out there. I mean, because oh. the, the politics is what it is, bro. Like, you're not going to change it, but yo, Tinubu is the president-elect. I mean, they're going to go court and do whatever they're going to do, but mm. he's president-elect. Well, we, we know, yeah. He's yeah. won. If 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 you're saying he's not free and fair, whatever, blah, 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 but he's won, he's won. But Nigeria has happened. <laughs> <laughs> Nigeria Fact, don't happen. My, my liberal have been saying, yo, free and fair, Peter B would have won. But if Nigeria happens, Peter B, um, <laughs> Tinubu will win, bro. And, and bro, Kelly just said it, Nigeria happened, bro. Nigeria I mean, happened, yeah. It's, it's normal. Now, now me, I, I, I sincerely feel like there's people that wholeheartedly supported Tinubu. Absolutely. Like they, that's who they wanted up there. Your, mm. your guy now. Which one guy? Your guy. Who's my guy, bro? Portable. Oh yeah, put, yeah, Portable support everybody, bro. Oh, hold on, bro. Have you heard the new, his new song? For them. Obiza boy. <laughs> oh, okay, is that song or you just put it out there? But it's a song. song. The song oh, just okay. came out, bro. Obiza boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, no, some people did that, but you mm. know what? We touched on the politics last week. Yeah. Let's go to the celebrities now. Yeah. 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 yeah? So as this whole thing was happening, yeah, all the celebrities kept quiet. Not all. But most of them yeah, did. Most of them, yeah. Most of them did. The Burners, the Whiskeys, the Ramers, Davido, even though Davido was, was on the ground. Yeah. He pictures came out that yeah, he was yeah. on the ground yeah. and everything. You get me? So people started coming at the celebrities, you know? And it became a mayhem on social media. And Butter Boy replied, so we are just going to dissect this thing like a pound of weed, yeah? Mm. So as people were coming at him, Butter Boy tweeted, let Nigeria decide who at INEC, no try any result magic. Right? So as he said that, bro, some of these prints are, are actually very small, bro. People now came at him, right? And and he now started going off. He said, um, so somebody said to him, then why you they sing about the country? <laughs> his reply to that you was got funny, me. His, his reply to, to that was, I go to sing about China now. <laughs> that, that was funny. Me. <laughs> no para. <laughs> right? <laughs> and then and then um he not con then somebody said, um, the reason are the African giants we all looked up to. So don't try to justify your reason of not being vocal in this election. And then he replied, if it's who will show you who to vote for you're looking for, please look up to someone else. Mm. Make could not look up to another person, I beg. Okay. And then he now said, I don't know why it's such a big deal to some Nigerians that I have not been vocal about the elections. <clears throat> Personally, I don't have a candidate that I believe in. I've never supported any political party or candidate in my life because I don't want to make you vote and then blame me when the person um, Fs up, Very as usual. Valid. That's been said, I hope all votes count and the best man wins. Then a lady by the name of Shade Ladipo, she said, your African aunt is a clown. Mm, aunt? Yes. If you're a true Pan-Africanist, as you claim with your music, then you must understand the importance of these elections. Promoting voter participation doesn't involve supporting any candidate. You are a clown and an opportunist who only uses Nigerian and African issues to promote your music. Effing fraud with fake dreads. I don't know where the, where the fake dreads came yeah, from, bro. That was hard. You get know what I'm saying? So, a lot of people were coming at my man and everything. Calling them frauds with Rema as well. Did, did you see yeah, the one I that happened the, to Rema? I well? Rema late, lately one. You get know what I mean? They came from with Rema his video as well. And stuff. With the video and everything in the midst of the whole thing. So, I ask you, man, what do you think, gentlemen? No, I've, you've, bro, you've just read some, some very fair, valid points there. Right. Fair enough. No one is asking him if you don't support any party or any politician or whatnot, that is absolutely fine. 
you know, you stand by, that is you, your, your, your individual self. But seeing the magnitude of crowds that f- actually follow you because of your music, you could have in a way used that to promote free and fair election, for example. Do you get what I mean? Just mm-hmm. tell people to go out there and vote for who they believe in. Mm. If you don't believe in anyone, just use your name just to pull people to actually go and vote. Because mm-hmm. at this stage, half, half, half the people don't even care about voting anymore. But then on the flip side... But you know uh, what, bro? This election, a lot of people voted. Yeah. Because I saw a lot of people were talking about this. There's something called voter suppression. Mm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, because mm-hmm. some people were I saying, yo, that. in a country of about 300 million people... How come it was only 8 million, whatever the case is? Mm. That was because a lot of votes were suppressed. Mm. A lot of states, from some of the things that I was seeing online and everything, yeah, a lot of states, the way they were rigging it is, okay, if you get to 100,000, stop counting. Or if you get to 200, stop counting. What the hell is that? You know what I'm saying? Because, because they were trying to make one person win. You get what I'm saying? So they, they were trying to make one person win. So if in this state now, you guys are voting for this other person, yeah, yeah we are going to discontinue all these votes mm-hmm. yeah, mm-hmm. so that this mm-hmm. other person can still have an edge. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That was basically what, bro, a lot, a lot of stuff was happening, bro. A lot. How is this ever going to be free and fair? A lot I mean, was happening and all that. You get what I mean? But with the conversation, though. Yeah, yeah but to, to the whole celebrities come voicing out personally, I don't see anything wrong with what Bonner and them lot did. Like, cause cause me, I'm looking at it for my own. Like, I don't I don't think Nigerians need that's what we need. And that's the mistake we're making with this P2B. We like we want a Messiah kind, okay, to follow. Why, why are we following any Bobadi though? If you if you're waiting, like like he, he right, and I think that's very, very on point. Like if you're waiting for somebody to tell you who to vote, then you're not ready then. I don't think people but that's what the we're girl suffering. was trying to point out. I'm not trying to I'm not trying to get but, your support. I'm not trying to but get you to say, you to tell us, what tell to us who to vote for. But just use your yeah. voice to, to promote because, like, like okay. free, free and fair election, like free and fair, you know, encourage people to go and vote and stuff like that. That's it. I don't I, want I, you to I, come I, out I, and say, oh, we, I support this party. Yeah. Go and vote for that party. Yeah. Nobody is telling you mm. to tell us who to vote for because when, you, when, when we rewind back, when we rewind back, we saw you and your family standing with, with Wiki. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So people can use that because that video was floating online. No, that's when they honored him with something. In yes. For that yeah. yeah. You get me? And, but everybody knows Wicca's reputation and his involvement in these whole elections. The evidence is there online. We are mm-hmm. not saying what everyone is not talking about. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? But the thing is, I can understand both sides. I see both sides. I cannot personally, your favorite word, bruv, I cannot personally condemn the people that are coming at them. You go, know I'm saying, calling mm. them frauds. Mm. You go, know I'm saying, because when you look, when you look at the definition of a fraud, and I am not saying that they are frauds, yeah, yeah. but I'm saying that I can see these people's points. Yeah. Because when you look at a froster, right, what do they tap into when they are talking to you, when they are trying to dupe you? They are trying to tap into your weakness. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, For the mm-hmm. most part, your weakness is greed. Mm, mm, mm. You For the most say? part, yeah, yeah, yeah. Your weakness is greed. <laughs> so, hey, give me five grand. You go get um, and, and, and like 50,000 back. This, 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 this. You get me? Now, that greed activates. Mm-hmm. Oh, shit. Like five grand again. You, you get what I'm saying? They tap into that. Now, you're saying that, you know, why are they looking for Messiah? Bro, when you look at countries that are suffering, in this case, right, which is which is so crazy because Nigeria has some of the richest people in the world and the richest oh, people in Africa. Yep, yep, but a lot yep. of people are under the poverty line, right? So when you look at that, those people are looking for hope. And it can be pastors. That's a that that's the reason why church is booming in Africa. Mm-hmm. Because the pastor is there to preach hope to you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. To preach hope, take you to a Messiah and all that kind of shit. So everybody is there because, oh God, I hope 
may, maybe tomorrow is the day that it will happen for me. You know, give your tithe. We'll give tithe. Give your offering. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Everybody's looking for that Messiah. Everyone is looking for that person. Now, it can be pastors. It can be politicians. I.e. a P2B. You know what I'm saying? Now, whether he's real or fake, I don't know. You get me? But when you look at his whole thing on social media, he looks like a man that's for the people. So yeah. everybody that needs hope gravitated towards that. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, now, mm -hmm. when you look at artists, the Bonners, the Whiskeys, all these people, yeah? Bro, it was the people that pushed you to where you are today. It is the people that supported your music. It is the people. So someone like Bonner, for example, and I'm not targeting him, but he, the, his type of music, right, is a type of music that gives people hope, sheds lights in, 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 in what's happening. Yeah, yeah. You go, I'm saying, and you're on this big stage. Mm. So you're speaking to the world about the plight of Africa and the plight of Nigeria, right? So everyone is looking at you, whether you know it or not, yeah? You are like a leader. Mm. You are like a leader. You go, I'm saying, because we are not there on the Grammy stage. We are not there on these other stages. You are the one that is there. And we are proud because you're Nigerian. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, you go, mm -hmm. I'm saying, and you're representing for all of us, right? My own thing is, bro, you, you just only have to do this once in four years, bro. Mm. It's not like we are, it's not like people are asking you to do this every day every or every day. month. Oh, yep, yep, bro, yep, once yep. in four years, and rightfully so, you don't have to tell people vote for P2B, vote for Tinubu, or vote for this person. But the fact that you're there on the streets, if you're there on the street and people can see you, mm -hmm. that's hope right there. I mean, that's, you know what, this guy is there for the people. And that's the reason why the backlash did not come to Davido. Davido did not say anything. Yeah. Davido did not tell anybody to vote for anybody. But he was there on the ground. You get what I'm saying? And that's the reason why a lot of people came for Bonner. A lot of people came for Weez. A lot of people came for all these people. But then where Bonner made a mistake is... They came for whiskey, but whiskey did not go back and forth with mm -hmm, people. Mm -hmm. yeah. Silence treatment. You go, I mean, just keep quiet and everything. Yeah, I think because, yeah, that's where you kind of step. Yeah, yeah, because that's a battle that you cannot win. No, you can't. But, you but, cannot yeah, win yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, No, I hear, I hear you, but because, I just think, be, so Sorry, bro. Because know. the reason why you cannot win it is your pocket is full, you're a celebrity, everyone look at you like, Life is good for you. Mm -hmm. That's the reason why you're behaving. Da, 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 da. So you can't, you can't win this. Yeah. If I was him, just step back and just yeah. keep quiet. Every anything you say, someone would have an answer to it. Everyone will have an answer to it. But but that's that's in his character. He's always gonna he doesn't just let things slide. But to the whole Nigeria thing, I don't think this same reason why you're saying we're looking for hope, that's the same reason why a Tinibu would win an election. That's the same reason why it come next four years, another somebody that's not gonna be good for us is gonna win again. Because we're looking for hope. I swear to God, many people that voted for Tinibu, he's giving them hope. So when you that's the way I say when you're looking there looking for hope and then someone can sell you nothing and then you buy it as hope. Now nah, we need to we okay. need to get into our spirit where it's like okay we actually want to change this country, not looking for some some bonaboy to lead you. Okay, come vote for now. Nah. If you actually educate yourself, people start from now. Like this tiny now they've been planning from when from say four years ago. So from right now, if everybody start going to go to a, a political party, join the political and start knowing about politics, reading these things, come next four years, but we'll not be leading a bonaboy to say, okay, come vote for now. It will be like, okay, we know who to vote for. Even if you come and say, yo, take the 10K, we'll clear your 10K and vote for the right person. So that's what I mean. If we keep it the same way, like so Messiah looking, but we're always going to vote in the wrong pe pe person. Yeah, but well, I think where you're mistaken is, yeah, now none of us were there. Right, but from what it seems, mm. the people, the people that wanted to change the country, voted for Pitobi. No, but we we can't say that. That's that's the reason why I started my statement was yeah. none of us were there. Yeah. But when you look at social mm. media, it looks like the people wanted Pitobi, right? And it looks like the people that want something for their pocket, 
were the ones that were going for Tinubu. People that want something for their pocket, the whole tribalism thing, which is a bit yeah, cra- crazy me, in this day and age. Yeah. Because because we live over here, we are dealing with racism. But then when you go back to Nigeria, you start dealing with tribalism. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Because it's a different group of people mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. that were put together into one country. You know what I'm saying? That they do not have the same culture. They do not speak the same language. They do not understand each other. That's what's happening in Nigeria. You go, I mean, so you have the Alsas, the Northerners. These are the Muslims. You have the Westerners. You go, I mean, these are the Yoruba people that have half of um, Muslim, half Christian. Then you have the Igbos. You go, I mean, so the Igbos are feeling like they are not represented very well on the big stage. You go, I mean, they are like the smaller group. You get what I'm saying? And you have this other group saying that Nigeria belongs to us. You get me? So now the Igbos are saying that's where the whole Biafra thing came mm. from. Like, all right, cool. If you guys don't want us, because you guys keep on rotating the presidency between Yoruba and Alsa, Alsa. Yoruba and Alsa, Yoruba and Alsa. Now, if you guys don't want us, let us break away, right? Mm. And from our own from country, our own. which is Biafra. Mm. You get what I'm saying? Mm. But then, um, nah, we don't want you guys to do that because you know why? Oil is in the East. You get what I'm saying? So so it's all a business move type thing. Yeah, no, to go into all the tribal, yeah, it's, it's deep. You get what I mean? It's, it's, it's horrible. Crazy. You get me? So, but I guess the whole thing is, I understand both sides. Right. I, I understand both sides, but then unfortunately, bro, I'm going to throw this in the water as well. The way things are going, bro, do you think some of these artists will want to be performing in Nigeria anymore? Why, why wouldn't they perform? Why would they not want to perform? Because of the type of vetro and, 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 and hate that they're getting. It's just for a time. After a while, uh, we're going yeah, to go back yeah, to I normal. I feel like it's just, it's just a time. It's just a time factor thing. Obviously, Nigeria is hot right now. With politics, it's hot right now. It's boiling hot. <laughs> After a while, bro, because music musicians are entertainers. Yeah, they entertain people. You get people are gonna forget, and then I mean they will be there to have a good time, Ooh. and then it will it will, it will die down. We, we can't be holding the responsible for, for the way it yeah, went, and yeah, yeah. even even with the whole majority of people wanting to do, we can't say because internet. You think everybody, like on percentage wise, but how many percent you think have access to internet in Nigeria, bro? It's a very it's not even more than thirty percent. So all this on social media is okay, 30% of the population. So where's everybody else? So so we can't we can't really judge Peter B's reign off of social media. Because mm. on ground, this teeny them, they are doing the work. They are going to see people. So all this, you know, you, you cannot tell. That's why I'm saying come six months, but everybody will move on. Because there are loads of people that supported this teeny guy. Mm. Loads of people. Yeah, they might not be on 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 internet, shout, you know, doing the whole you know internet crusade and stuff, but they're there. Like even with when you won, you should saw the thing on online where people were jubilating and stuff. Yeah, there are people that like they did this smart. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. that's why I don't think we should hold these guys responsible. Okay, if it was another person that came to it was if it wasn't a P two B, if it was another person, would we have the same energy? No. So why hold them because it's P2B now? Because you, you, you kind of feel, oh, this is a, a man for the people now. Why not now, from now, let's start doing that work of being the man of the people ourselves, everybody. You understand what I'm saying? Get that, you know, polit- politic education, political, I don't know what, political education going where everyone is aware, okay, this is what I need to do. This is what I need to do. This is what I know. You cannot eat my money. Then it would. Bro, bro, bro I, think, I think that happened in this election, bro. I think I've never seen el- an election in Nigeria. Maybe I'm wrong, but I've never seen an election in Nigeria yet that a lot of people were so invested in this election, bro. There oh, were loads oh, of, but, bro, but, but like, of people they, were invested. They might in be invested because they see hope in Peter. That's what I'm saying, You get though? what I'm trying yeah. to say? But then deep down, they are not invested in the education aspect of it at yeah, all. Yeah, bro, but we are the ones that are over here looking at it from a logical point of view. Mm. You get what I'm saying? If you are there in the midst, right? You might not be looking at it from this perspective that we are looking at it from. You get what I'm saying? 
you yeah, know it's, because it's you because refusing to see it that way though it's a what it's it's you do like if you're not seeing it that way then you're refusing to actually reflect have a, like a self-reflection because yeah. all these people remember everybody most people that are waiting for peter to be now mm. boom you you tell me you tell me they're treating everybody good no of course not you get so, what i'm saying but that's on both sides though exactly so, but, but so, that's so, so you, you can't say Peter B is the Messiah when you're out there treating people the same way this same person you say is bad is treating people. So who's what are you say? No, no, no. See, at the end of the day, yeah, at the end of the day, once again, I don't think when I look at the whole thing, I understand every aspect of it, right? So you see people online. If you're not voting for Peter B, they will come in your DM and in your comments and and throw the, throw the hell out of you, right? I'm looking at it from that point, from from this point of view that they are looking at it from, yeah, that, listen, mate, do you understand that we need a change in this country one way or the other? You get what I'm saying? You you are trying to vote for these people that are part of the establishment, right? Someone like Pito B, he seems like the good guy that is not for the establishment, for the cabal. Mm. You get what I'm saying? So why are you not seeing this like the rest of us? Why are you voting for this person? Or is there a particular thing that you're gaining from them? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah. so I can understand that. And then I can understand from the flip side of the coin where someone say, hey, mate, I am voting for who I like. You vote for who you like. You know what I'm saying? So, Definitely. So when I look at it, I understand both pictures. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I understand both pictures. And then also from the artist's point of view, all right, cool, mate, I don't want to get involved in this. You get what I'm saying? I don't want to get which is their right because I remember when Obama was coming to office, Jay Z, um, PDD, all of them were rallying around him and everything, right? When um, Joe Biden, who is a Democrat, mm. when he wanted to come in, none of them people were outside. You didn't hear him from the Jay Zs and the PDDs and everything. You get what I'm saying? You know, but so it depends on who you like. So I don't think Bernard and the rest of them are wrong. No, they're definitely not wrong. But then I don't think that the people that are in the fire are wrong. But I, I think the people that are gunning for these celebrities are wrong. I don't think they're wrong. I, I, I do think, not think, I think they're wrong. It's, it's I do a not mis, think they're misplaced wrong. priority. You got me? No, no, no. I, it's I, misplaced. I, no, no, it's anger. It's anger. It's anger, yes. But then at the same time, bro. We, uh, this is the only time that, that we ask you to do something for us. This is the only time. One, like once in four years. And we are not asking you to campaign like the way um, uh, um, like P Square is doing and everything. No. Yeah. You got I me? Mean? That's P Square them. P Square them, they want to do that. We're yeah. not asking you to, to campaign and carry flag with the, No, 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 no. We just want to know that you are part of us mm. because the way it looks, it looks like okay, you've made it. You go, know I mean, I'm better than you lot now. You lot so, over there, yeah. To you, uh, regardless that's who wins the election, comes across. you're still yeah. good. You go, know I'm saying, like I'm good. You go, know I mean, yeah. I'm I'm somewhere in the Bahamas mm. having a great time nah, and everything. At the end of the day, you know, these are the people that actually made you who these you are, are the right people now. That to made an you extent. Who you are, yeah. Yeah, but to I mean, extent. yeah, they made you, but that doesn't because they made you. Then it doesn't you mean now, it doesn't you mean, mean it doesn't mean you owe do them what, or yeah. go out of your you way. But it's just you, it's just a nice thing to do yeah, for nice your people. Thing, yeah, yeah, but yeah, I just, just I just think people need to spread that. We need to start taking this in our taking it in our why, own hands. Where it's us doing the work. Why don't is, expect nobody to do no work? Why is fella still respected till today? Why? Because. Because his music and his deeds, he was he he came across like he was for the common not man. came across. He was yes for okay, the people. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he no, was no, no. for the people. Uh, yeah, you know. But that's my point. Yeah, yeah. But but that's that's the, the different though. There's loads of people that are li- that, like that, that. That doesn't necessarily mean you know if you're not for the if you're not showing publicly that you're for the people, you're still not gonna respect respected. You know, when even when you stop stop singing, for example, it yeah, doesn't yeah, necessarily yeah. mean no, it that. It doesn't necessarily mean that. But but uh, my point is, I can understand both sides. Mm. I can understand both sides. Yeah, I mean, but but shout out to them. I, I can. I mean, we've got brains, but I don't. It's unnecessary. Is what I'm saying. Right.